NBC6 News at 5 on your side starts now. Another of the big announcements from state leaders today, distance learning isn't going away anytime soon. At this point, many districts are in their second week or longer of online schooling. Hundreds of kids in rural areas still can't connect to their classrooms. Kaylee Gunderson takes a look at how these districts are still teaching despite the tech issues. School statewide has a new look. From Schoology to Google Classroom, uh, some are using Zoom for meetings with their students. Superintendent Nate Huffman's district stretches 125 square miles. Many families live in rural areas. We have kids from all ranges where they have perfect internet access to those that do not have any internet access at all. Out of 1,900 students in the Highland Local School District, around 150 are completely disconnected. Taze Valley Local Schools is right there with them. Right now, it's an equity issue. Some families without internet access and no possibility of broadband installation, something Patrick Higgins with Ohio's Electric Cooperatives is pushing to expand. Rural internet broadband access is no longer a luxury. It's a must have for people who live in rural areas. The lack of it hampers economic development, social connectivity, health care, and educational options. And for the students with access, Beth Kepler says Schoology and other online schooling platforms are getting overloaded and bogged down. We realize that marching forward with the school year as if nothing's changed is unrealistic um, because just too many of them can't um, be a part of those learning opportunities. So she's so, improvising um, with paper schoolwork and teacher check-ins. When you know students are getting meals, we're trying to leave things in those areas. But again, when you know the safety of all of us depends on us honoring this stay at home, um, then we have to think of ways around that. For Huffman's roughly 150 students without access, about 80 families, he's ordered Wi-Fi hotspots to be installed into their homes. We want to be able to provide every single family that does not have a connection the ability to, to get online. Kaylee Gunderson, ABC6 News.